Hello, it's Stephen here back with another video. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm very tired, so sorry my voice cracks a little bit in this. It's just I'm just struggling to catch up this week. But as ever though, before I go too far, and all the usual things that I say at this stage of the video, One Football is sponsoring this channel, so it's really, 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 really good. It actually legitimately 100% no to lie, keeps me up to date with transfer news when I'm in work. I take notes on it based on that app. Go and download it. I get little notifications on my phone every single time a news story comes through. It's really good, I promise you. Download it. It's free. The link is in the description below. It helps support this channel. It makes your football experience better. What's not to love? Go and download it right now. But today, it's just a bit of a catch-up. A few breaking news stories, as much as I believe some of them, some of them don't. And a few things that are just kind of bobbling along as usual. The latest one, which I quite like today, which is quite interesting, Interesting, and uh, one that actually caught my attention um, is yet yeah, another centre back. Yep, uh, Mr. Nathan Ake, uh, the Dutch international, has been linked to Manchester City according to Lekeep for £40 million. Now, immediately I'm thinking, well, where's this come from, Lekeep? You know, like a French newspaper reporting this about a Dutch defender for an English team. Um, but you know, like, sometimes these things happen. You get, um, I'm just so you can see how many caps he's got, by the way. I couldn't remember now. One second, just googling. How many caps has he got? Um, he's got 10 caps, you know, decent amount. But anyway, sometimes things do happen where uh, papers get tip-offs or whatever. It was actually an Italian newspaper that first reported Guardiola was going to buy Munich because a tip-off uh, from uh, someone on the board of, I think it was Juve or something like that. And, you know, basically things can get around. So it's a bit of a left-field source, but sometimes that can add weight to it. Um, do I think it'll happen? Probably not. Would I like it to happen? Do you know what? I think I probably would, actually. 40 million seems pretty reasonable these days. I guess we got so used to the idea of maybe paying 70 or million for Harry Maguire, which I'd get into later, that... Um Forty million just sounds basically reasonable, doesn't it? The one thing I like about Nathan Aki, even though obviously he's not playing at the highest of levels, he has got plenty of Premier League experience. He's been around the Premier League for several seasons now. He's obviously homegrown as well, given his time at Chelsea. Um, and what I like about him as well is that he's taught, he's been taught how to play because of Chelsea once again, uh, and because obviously the football never ends play. He's been taught how to play nice possession football. Uh, he can pass it about basically. Uh, he's very adept at bringing the ball into midfield and all that kind of stuff. And he's also very, very versatile. He's played across midfield. He's played in defence, he's played left back at times. He's a really useful player. Um, he's not the biggest, I'll admit that, about 5'11", but what he does have, uh, in the same way that Otamendi does, who isn't also the tallest central defender, he has a good leap, you know, a real spring in his step, which is really useful. A very physical player. Uh, so what he makes up in lack of height, he makes up for tenacity and a, a kind of uh, a real solid jump, and he's just a, a good all-around athlete. In the way that Micah Richards, I guess, wasn't the tallest guy in the world, but had a big jump. Not quite as big as that, but you know what I mean by that. He's also, like Micah Richards, pretty fast as well. For what I can remember, Nathan Aki has a very good turn of pace, which would do us uh, no harm at all. Now, obviously, he is left-footed, so you, you probably wouldn't play alongside Laporte. But having said that, when the season's getting tough and players are getting tired, the idea of having someone with his Premier League experience who can come there and slot in and be useful in the squad would be very good. He also fits the age profile. And I also wouldn't be surprised if at some point, if he came into, the, uh, into Manchester City, he could be like you know nurtured into a midfield option every now and then because he has played defensive midfield before. I don't know. I just like Nathan Aki. You just know that if he came in, he could do a very good job at Manchester City. And I think Guardiola would like him. Having said that, I'm still not convinced this will actually happen. But he would honestly get my thumbs up because he's a good player. Uh, as is Angelino. Now, this is just a little bit of gossip. Well, it's true gossip. Angelino's missus, um, I can't remember what her name is, posted a picture uh, of, I think it's Danny to send it, who's Angelino's brother, um, in a taxi outside the Etihad. Uh, she also posted last night on Instagram, um, like a little welcome message from the sports team, first team operations team from Manchester City saying welcome back to Manchester, which is obviously meant for Angelino. So basically it looks very obvious that he's about to sign for Manchester City Football Club. I'm expecting an announcement within the next 24 hours, 40 hours. What should it be when I go on holiday on Thursday? Please don't be there because I'm away in the wilderness in Scotland, Angelino. But um, as I said yesterday on yesterday's video, I said yesterday on yesterday's video, that's a tongue twister for you. Uh, I'm very excited by this. The idea of Angelino back at Manchester City, just a perfect little transfer for me. Exciting, brings us so many options and he's obviously been in Manchester today. He's obviously there. He's obviously at the Etihad. He's probably done his medical. It looks very, very likely. Another bit of an odd one that came through today knocking about um, Benucci. What's that one about? Uh, let me find the rumours again. Benucci apparently is uh, being linked to Manchester City again. It's, it's, to me, it seems a bit odd. It was Corriere, Corriere Dello Sport uh, reporting this and that apparently we want him for around like 35 million euros or something like that. Uh, or 50 million euros that's apparently they're claiming they want him 
I, I can't see this at all. This seems to make absolutely no sense. Now, one of the reasons I think it makes no sense is, if you got to remember when Benucci came out and defended uh, and excused almost some racism against, uh, was it, I forgot who it was about, was it Moises Keane? I can't remember what it was about. Now, basically, uh, Leonardo Benucci basically defended the racist and Sterling actually kind of attacked it on Twitter, on, sorry, Instagram, which is kind of weird. Now, obviously, that's not going to fully play into everything, but the idea that um, a 32-year-old centre-back who'd cost a hell of a lot of money would come in for that kind of money uh, into uh, potentially cause squad disharmony doesn't seem to make sense to me. Now, we obviously know Guardiola has got a bit of a thing for Benucci because he's a very good footballer, no doubt about it. And obviously, Benucci could be moving on because game time may drop if the lit goes there. I know you're thinking, why don't we just get the lit? But it looks like that ship has long since sailed. So, Benucci could be available. I don't know. I've gone well past the idea of Benucci. He's older. He doesn't really make sense anymore. Um, and I don't think he'd really fit into the squad balance for the reasons I've just mentioned. I think it'd be a lot of tension brought in for an older guy on a massive wage uh, for a massive fee. And it just doesn't seem to make sense in any way, shape or form. We look at the profile of our potential signings, you know, Angelino, a young lad. Rodri, a young lad. Ake, if it's true, which I don't think it is, but if it's true, a young lad, you know. These are all players that can build the future around. Like, Tens of millions on a 32-year-old. Um, it just doesn't seem to make any sense in any shape or form. So never mind the squad home or anything. For me, I can't see this happening. Uh, Harry Maguire, on to him again. A little bit of news today. Apparently, we do have an interest in him still, according to Paul Hurst from the Times, I think it is. Um, and we are still talking to Leicester on a regular basis. But United uh, allegedly had an 80 million offer uh, rebuked, and they want 90 million Leicester. If we're not willing to match... United 70 or 80 million offer or whatever it is, we're not willing to go up to 70 million, then why would we go past that? Maguire, as I said before in other videos, I think Maguire is a good player. Like, I think he is. You know, obviously he's got his flaws here and there in terms of his turn of pace. What he does bring is Premier League experience. He does bring comfortability on the ball. He can um, he can be impressive at times. I think Guardiola was very impressed when we played against Leicester. Each time he was very comfortable. He, uh, he strolled out defence. He's an absolute beast of a player as well, given his massive head. Um, he's a good footballer. I'm sure he could be very comfortable in it, but I just can't see. I just can't see us paying like a world record fee for a defender. And it's understandable. If you're going to pay a world record fee, you want it to be the, for the best defender, at least not the couple best defenders. And he's definitely not, in the, you know, he's, he's not at the top of the table yet. So you don't want to pay potential on that front. Uh, having said that, I think it's pretty obvious that we are in for a centre-back. You know, we talked about Ake earlier, we've talked about Benucci, we've talked about Maguire. City are in for some defenders. A lot of people have asked a few times, what about Eric Garcia? Um, I think Vera Garcia, we've got to understand that he's very young still, uh, very small. As good as he was in the Carabao Cup, it's a hell of an ask to go into the season with him as a backup defender. I mean, it could be that we use that, but I can see why we want the experience, given what we've just lost with Cubby. And given the fact that Mendy still could agitate for a move, we'd still need to make sure that we've got someone a little bit more experienced. Garcia will remain the guy who gets some games in the Cup, but I can't see him being trusted to be the genuine backup. Even though as much as I do like him, it just doesn't seem to be a very wise move for me. Philip Sandler as well. He has been pictured in the kit, I guess. Um, you know, it could happen with Philip Sandler. Um, could get a chance, but he does need some regular football now, given the fact that last season he was injured. He did get game time, you know, every now and then, which is quite nice. Um, but I just can't really see him being trusted once again. I think he'll go on loan to one of the sister clubs um, somewhere, maybe... Uh, he'll get a loan to a decent team and play a little bit of football. But for now, I think we will sign a centre-back. Um, other than that, in terms of Cancelo, it's going to be quiet. Rodri, there were some rumours uh, knocking about, but nothing's really firmed up on that front. I'm not worried about signings. I think we will get some people in over the line because uh, I think it's just inevitable now in the next week or two. I'm just hoping, as I said, it's not during uh, Thursday to Sunday because I'm away up in Loch Lomond in Scotland for a few days to an internet detox with uh, my best mate, uh, his missus and my missus. Um, I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be really nice. But what City actually release something? Because I can't, I've got no internet up there, so I'll be screwed genuinely. So what I might do, by the way, is I might record a couple of reaction videos just in case we sign a few players. So if you sound a bit odd when you watch the reaction videos, it's because I'll be pretending to know stuff that I don't know about. Like, I won't know about the fees. I'll be guessing, educated guesses. So they'll be kind of like preemptive videos i might do that if you don't have a problem with it but anyway i'm waffling now my voice is going very tired thank you as ever to all the people scrolling down the side of the screen these are my patrons who help keep this channel going absolute heroes patreon.com forward slash esteem company if you want to get involved get a shout out get your name in the credits and all that kind of stuff and get in the patreon q a uh, and also download one football as ever maybe about a video tomorrow fingers crossed we'll sign a player for now i'm gonna go rest up my voice i'll see you soon in a bit bye
It was obviously meant for Angelino. So basically... Hello. Hello. I'm doing a video. Okay. Can I bring you back in bed? Bye-bye. Hi, video. Hello. <laughs> I won't put this in. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.